We have tried using this technology using a stale seed bed concept. The idea on this with our annual crops is we leave the soil after the final seed bed preparation, leave it alone and let the weed seeds germinate before we actually plant either seed of our crop or transplant into it. That gives plenty of time for the weed seeds to germinate that are up close to the surface. These are up then at the cotyledon stage of growth and we can use a flamer to remove those weeds either after we've seeded or just prior to transplanting. Optimal time to really hit these weeds with this type of technology is at that cotyledon stage of growth, before we see true leaves start to show up. This is a small seedling, is, is called smartweed. We have two cotyledons, it's also a broadleaf plant, so the growing point is located up here at the top. This would be a prime candidate right now to control with flame technology. If you look on the side, you can see that we have a pretty extensive root system, even on a plant this small. Uh, we're down probably two inches uh, to where the bottom most roots are located in this soil. If you look next door to it, this is a, a common groundsel, another winter annual, probably looks like five or six leaves. And it's also starting to spread out. You can kind of see that here amongst this, this soil. And, and a lot of these roots are, are well down deep. You can also see that we've got a pretty good mass on that uh, stem which is another indication that this plant would probably be able to survive the, the flame operation. It's very difficult to get control of grasses using flame technology. The problem is that the soil is a very good insulator and we just don't get the heat that we need immediately around that crown to really cause those cells to uh, desiccate. We can kill the top part of the plant, but we don't really kill the bottom part. We've used the flamer pretty effectively in blueberry production, for instance, we are able to get right underneath the crop itself, which is pretty effective, and it does a pretty good job of actually removing the top growth of, of some pretty tough perennials like Canada thistle, horsetail, um, a curly dock, things like this that are, that are growing out in the field. So we found that uh, this has worked pretty well for us. Now, obviously, with a perennial crop like that, we are going to get regrowth, and we always do get regrowth. but we just plan on using the technology many times during the course of the growing season and we end up getting pretty good level of control or at least suppression of that perennial uh, weed out there. Now we do have to be a little bit careful, particularly in blueberry culture that, that uses sawdust and, and shavings, wood shavings out there in the row to do this at a time when we're not going to be setting the field on fire and that, you know, I, I kind of joke about it, but we're very careful to make sure that we have nice wet conditions in the sawdust, so springtime and after fall rains have started is when we really like to use the technology.